Hey there, Kyle Souza. Check out thetalkinggeek.com. Check out this book. Let's talk about this book. This is the second book of the Young Jedi Knights series by Kevin J. Anderson and Rebecca Moesta. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It is subtitled Shadow Academy. It is about Jason and Jaina, the solo twins. They are studying at Luke's temple on Yavin 4 as he establishes the new Jedi Order while his twin sister and brother-in-law on Solo, uh, develop the, or work on developing the New Republic as the new form of government. Their children are teenagers, uh, follows on from the last book where they have Tanel Ka and Lobaka. Uh, they visit Lando Calrissian at his gem, mi- gem diver station where he is mining Karuska gems, which are a very uh, wanted material that's the Basically, when we think of diamonds, the most indestructible material, that's what Karuska gems are in the Star Wars world. They're, they're practically indestructible. And so he is mining them on the gas giant of Yavin. Yavin 4 being the fourth moon of Yavin. That's how it works. So um, what we have here, as we can see from the cover, we've got, an, we've got the Shadow Academy. That's this place. Basically, it's a Jedi temple for dark Jedi, evil Jedi. The book starts very early with the story of Brachus, who is a trainee of Luke Skywalker's, and he was an Imperial plant, but Luke saw potential in him, and he still failed, and Luke feels like he failed him. Brachus failed Luke, blah, blah, blah. He went and started his own academy in secret. They find out about it in this book. This is a lady who is part of the new breed of Night Sisters, who is assisting him. These are stormtroopers. If you don't know that, you don't know Star Wars. So uh, they are working with the Empire to train up new young evil Jedi, dark Jedi, dark side force users. They don't think of themselves as Sith. They think of themselves as dark Jedi. And they have an academy. They're not following the rule of two, etc. And they, we get a lot of allusions to the new Imperial leader in this book. And that person is not named yet, not revealed. So we'll see what happens there. But it's, it's a fun book. Uh, it's pretty fast-paced. We do get to see Coral again. Uh, he makes an appearance or two. And it, like I said, this book series is aimed at teens and preteens. You know, the, the middle school crowd probably would be the best way to describe it. Uh, still a fun book series and great stories. And even though it's part of the expanded universe that's not the true Star Wars story. Now, they're they're still fun Star Wars stories, and I like them, so I'm going back and revisiting them. But I'd say this one, I liked this one better than the last one, better than the first one. Uh, It's just a little bit more intense. Uh, The story is a bit more fast-paced. There's less details in it and more action. And not that I dislike details, but I want the details to be a part of the story. And it's still a lot of character building, though. Just like the first book, that's what I mean by the details. It was a lot of character building in the first book, which you need. And that makes this book better. If you you hadn't read the first book, this book would not be as good. And you'd be wondering why, like, why does that person act that way? Well, they answered that in the first book. There's a second book. Go read the first book first and the second book second. That's why we call it the second book. So I'd say check out this book if you can. Star Wars, um, Young Jedi Knights, Shadow Academy. Oh, also check out TalkingGeek.com. Thanks.